All right, section four, we are going to get into simple interest. And then section five, we'll do compound interest. And uh, the simple interest will basically lead you into compound interest. This one's the easier of the two to do. Now, with simple interest, we're going to have a formula that they're going to give us. I equals PRT. I stands for interest. So when they ask you to find the simple interest, you're going to be finding the I part of your uh, equation here. P stands for principal. Principal is the amount of money. So in the uh, problem, they're going to give you an amount of money that you're going to invest or you're going to get interest on. That is uh, what's going to represent the principal. R stands for rate. Rate is going to be the interest rate given to you as a percentage. And the T stands for time. <coughs> and the important thing with this time is it's time in years. So if they give you months, you're going to have to convert that to years. Or, you know, I'll show you how that works here in a second. So I equals PRT. That's your simple interest formula. And then what they're going to do is give you an example where you're going to use that formula to come up with the interest. They want you to find the simple interest. So to do this, you're going to use your formula, I equals PRT. And we're going to need a calculator for this. So I have to clear up that. <clears throat> now it's just a matter of putting the things in here. Simple interest. Uh, we have PRT. P stands for principal. Principal is the amount of money. So that's going to be 960. R is your interest rate. Your rate here is 2%, which they've written as 0 0.02. And T stands for time in years. We have one month. Now we have to take that month and convert it to years. So if you put that as a fraction, one month would be one twelfth of a year. Because there's 12 months in a year. When they give you months, you have to put it as a fraction of that 12. And if there's any mistake you're going to make in here, that's usually the thing. So if they give you months for your time, you have to put that as a fraction over 12. Now you just have to put this in the calculator, and that's going to compute your interest for you. So you take 960 times 0 0.02 times 112. That 112, you can just put in the calculator as 1 divided by 12. That gives us $1.60. After one month of simple interest of 960 bucks and 2% interest, you would earn $1.60 in interest. Questions on that first one? All right, I'll show you another one real quick. Same type of deal. If they want simple interest, you're going to use I equals PRT. P stands for principal. This time the principal is $327. The rate is 4%. 4% I'm going to write as a decimal. It's 0.04. T stands for time. You have six months. Time we want in years. So you have to take, uh, put that six as a fraction out of 12. Then you just have to put the calculator. 327 times 0 0.04 times six divided by 12, $6.54. Once you find the interest you earn on that account, that's $6.54. That's simple interest. We'll take that a step further when we go to uh, compound interest in section five. We'll do that after we come back to the break. But are there any questions on section four, simple interest? Okay, then the goal today is to get yourself through uh, quiz five, four.